friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be putting together another spread using the Allie Edwards August Stories by the Month kit from 2021. So this story is going to go inside of my family story album, just my everyday stories type of 6x8 album. And I did a little bit of reflective journaling about things that I am learning right now, um, just in general in life. So I have printed off a photo that is at a little bit of a different size. I believe this is 4.875 by 8.25 uh, because I'm working on the back side of another spread where it has a photo at this size. So that's why I've got it here. But I actually really like the orientation and the size of this photo. So I think that's awesome. Anyway, so I have a photo here that I have printed and then I also have my journaling printed out on a piece of six by eight plain white cardstock. So my plan is to fussy cut the word learning out of this card because the two colors of cardstock are not the same. Otherwise I could have just cut this off and glued it on top, but I don't like the fact that they are slightly, slightly off. In addition to that, I've also got a couple sections of this black pattern here that I can add to the top and the bottom. Then the word learning is going to go here and it's going to tie it together with the tag and a date stamp over here. And then I've also got some chipboard asterisks from the Storytelling Basics collection to use as bullet points this time. So what I'm going to do is go off screen, fussy cut this word out, and then I will come back and speed you guys up while I put this spread together. Once I have everything done, we'll slow back down and finish out for the day. I will also read my journaling at the end of this video for those of you who want to know what it is I am currently learning in life. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have come back from off screen and here you can see the fussy cut learning word out, which I also did fussy cut out that little tiny dot for the eye. I love the dot because it's a slightly darker pink, so it gives this a two-tone, uh, just a little bit more depth, I guess, to the colors and um, sentiments of this page. So I'm setting that aside for the moment while I go ahead and get the pattern portion glued onto the top and the bottom of my page. So this was originally a four by six journaling card that I cut a two inch strip off of. I believe it was two inches and then I cut that in half. So each of those strips is roughly um it might be a little bit more than an inch. It might've been like an inch and a quarter or something along those lines, but basically it's about an inch on the top and an inch on the bottom. Once I have that adhered down, then I can go ahead and add this learning title because I wanted the top of the learning L there to interact with the pattern portion of the page. So I can just adjust it and get it in there so that it interacts with the top and the side and then stick the rest of that down. And then we're going to go ahead and put the dot for the eye in learning at the top. Now the original card had a sentiment underneath the word learning and I was not able to salvage that because the text on it was way too small for me to even attempt to fussy cut it. So what you're going to see me do here is pull out the what life looked like stamp set that's from the, I believe it's from the Storytelling Basics collection of stamps. And it has a bunch of different titles with, you know, like home life and work life and Monday through Sunday and all of those things. I am going to pull one off of there that has minutes, days, weeks, months, years. And I'm going to use that as my subtitle. So it's like I am learning and it's like I'm learning different things every minute, every day, every week, every month, you know, and so on and so on. So I thought that that was a fairly nice subtitle. I also, in the meantime, grabbed the chipboard, um, it's a chipboard tag there, and I, I just grabbed my date stamp and added my date stamping in a first, second, and third generation stamping. That just means that I am stamping and re-stamping without re-inking a couple of times in the white space of that tag, and then I stuck it down on the photo. I decided to not put any twine in it because I didn't feel like it needed that texture. I then grabbed over those asterisks and I added five of them down the side so that it creates bullet pointed journaling. 
All right, friends, that completes my spread for today. So once I got this word fussy cut out of the original journaling card, really the rest of this came together really, really quick. It was a pretty simple spread, especially since most of it is covered with words and the other side is just a huge photo. But I actually really enjoy making spreads that are a bit more on the simple and cleaner side, um, not only because they're, you know, easily finished, which is always a benefit, but also because I like the general aesthetic of things being a bit more on the clean side of, uh, the clean side of creativity, <laughs> which sounds like the dark side of the moon, the clean side of creativity. Anyway, that's just... <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Okay. If you would like to hear my journaling, then uh, definitely hang on and we are going to get to that in just a second here. If you are not interested in hearing the journaling, then I will catch you in the next video. Hope that you enjoyed this one and definitely give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the journaling. So for this one, the title is Learning. And as I sat down to write this journaling, I just kind of reflected on, you know, what am I learning right now, this week, this month, this day, this hour, that sort of thing. And then I was able to come up with a bunch of different um bunch of different things that I've been learning lately. So I've said I'm learning or trying to learn how to add in more time of relaxation and total engagement with the family this summer. It's hard because the to-do list is always miles long, but I'm trying my best. I'm learning that I can do better at reaching out to my girlfriends and sisters, and when I do, I feel more connected. It's not my first instinct as an introvert, but it's so worth it to get out of my comfort zone. I'm learning that I can't do it all right now, or at least I can't do everything that I really want to. I'm learning to prioritize relationships and the little time I have left with the kids before school starts. I'm learning how to cut back on some of my goals, at least for the summer. This one is so hard for me. I'm such a goal-driven person, but I know I need to relax on myself for a bit here with all that's coming. I'm learning that as much as I'm looking forward to the kids going to school in the fall and the time I'll finally have to focus on my stuff, I'm really going to miss them. I'm learning to be grateful for right now. So that is my story for this week. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that uh, the, the journaling there maybe sparked some ideas of things that you are perhaps learning this summer or during this vacation time as well. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And um, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you back here on Wednesday for Project Life and on Friday for Story Kit Crush. All right, you guys, see you in the next video.